So I'm just going to cut to the point. I have been streaming Destiny and the Dungeon for maybe like two-thirds of the last two days total. So uh, my throat is kind of destroyed. You know, I'm streaming for 30 whatever hours it's been. And I'm just going to get straight to the point and show you guys the terminals in the new dungeon, the lore collectibles, if you guys want to collect them for the triumphs. And there you go. Uh, not much else to say. I'm just going to get into it and try to describe the places as much as I can for each of them. Other than that, enjoy, like, share, subscribe, notification bell, all that nonsense. And I'll be streaming uh, my solo flaws attempts on each character on Twitch today, tomorrow, whenever. So link in the description for that too. All right, let's go. Your first terminal lore will be located directly under the bunker that you just went down on after completing the first encounter. So as soon as you go down the Warmind slip and slide, when you land, the terminal will be immediately to the top right of your body. So you're going to want to climb some platforms on the left side and then jump across to the right. There'll be a platform on the scene that you can jump to and then the terminal will be right there for you to scan. And that's the first lore page. We're going to number two now. Terminal number two is located very close by from the first one. As soon as you get the first, go into the normal section with the hallway, pipes, vents that you would go to to proceed into the dungeon. Before getting to the first jumping puzzle, you will be in a greenish room with some diamond doors, a window where you can see the final boss, the giant chicken from. What you do is, from looking at the window and seeing the boss, turn back around for where you just came, and then look at the floor under you. You can crawl down to this pipe section, whatever you want to call it, go down there, and the terminal will be attached to the wall on the left-hand side if you just turned around and went down. It's pretty easy to see once you're actually down there. So there you go. That is the second terminal. Terminal number three is in the first jumping puzzle with the Hydra, Harpy suspended in the air, etc., etc. So here, what you want to do is you're going to try to get to the back left-hand corner of the map. This would be about 7 or 8 o'clock if you're reading a traditional clock looking forward from where you entered. To get here, you can either do, you know, parkour, line ramp, and stoppies, uh, well skate, etc., or just take the normal route of using the platforms that are suspended in the air. Eventually, you will hit a left side that, that has a very, very low platform. You jump there, and then you can ascend upwards towards the ceiling. From there, you should be near the pillar, beam, whatever, in the middle of the arena that you want to call it. From here, you just turn around, look towards the direction of where you entered from, and that way, you're heading towards that 7, 8 o'clock area-ish. Use um, swords, Stompies, line rapids, etc. to get across. Once you do, there will be a terminal shining blue that you need to scan. That is the Lord Terminal. And also, the furthest back pillar on the back of it will be a secret chest if you want to collect that as well. And that's terminal number three. Once you've gotten that, there is a fourth terminal to scan here as well. This one's much easier to get to. It's located basically to the left of where you exit in this area and you take the grav lift. So just get to the end like you would the normal route. And then before taking the grav lift, you just jump to the left side. There is a ramp to jump on. And then there's a terminal to scan as well. So that's four. Let's move on. Terminal number five is located directly behind where you placed the rally flag near the window exit that you would start taking to ascend the tower. Simply just turn around from the rally flag standpoint. Look at the terminals. One of them is glowing blue. Scan that. And there's your fifth terminal. Small note, before you get to the final terminal, it is at the end of the Ascension Spire encounter, but before you start the first boss encounter, so make sure you do not go to the first boss before collecting your sixth terminal. Speaking of which, let's go to that now. Terminal number six is located on a monitor after you've ascended the Spire and not gone on to the first boss. It'll be on the outer rim of this area. Just look for a monitor that will be located on the outer side. Don't even bother with anything in the center, and eventually you will find it. It's kind of hard to describe which direction to go because it depends how you go up and where you're looking, etc. But generally, just stick to the outside square, keep looking at each monitor, and eventually you will hit it and get the final lore terminal. And that is all six. There are no more after this point in the dungeon. Enjoy killing the boss. Other than that, and hopefully uh, you have good luck with the bow exotic dropping. All right, that's it for this video. I need to go drink eight gallons of cranberry juice. P.S. If you want to see a solo follows guide for this dungeon, let me know, and which character you'd like to see. That's it. I'm going to go rest now.